Some were destroyed in battle. Others weren't completed. Some are laid up and can only dream about battles. But now they're getting a new lease of life. We recreate ships accurately according to their historical blueprints and send them into battle. World of Warships, Dry Dock. Stalingrad. This was the name of the lead ship of the series of Project 82 heavy cruisers that were developed and built in the USSR between the end of the 1940s and beginning of the 1950s. With powerful long-range guns, perfect armor, advanced torpedo protection, and a high cruising speed, these ships might very well have become the strongest cruisers of the post-war period. That's how Stalin himself saw them, and he had a keen interest in their development. During the preliminary design stage, the leader of the Soviet Union was presented with three cruiser variants. They all differed in their armament, armor, and displacement. Stalin chose the variant with 305mm main battery guns, a 200mm armor belt, and displacement of 40,000 tons. The final design of the heavy cruiser was approved in June 1951, and the lead ship of the series, Stalingrad, was laid down on December 31. In theory, the ship was capable of destroying any surface ship except for battleships, which she could escape from thanks to her high speed of 35 knots. She could have achieved such speeds because of her advanced propulsion. It was designed to provide 280,000 horsepower, making it the most powerful propulsion in the world at that time. Stalingrad's main battery, her primary offensive armament, was presented in the project with nine 305mm SM-33 guns placed in three turrets. The guns, which had a length of 61 calibers, were capable of firing 467 kilogram armor-piercing shells across a distance of 53 kilometers. They could penetrate three 10 millimeter thick armor at ranges of up to 30 kilometers. At the same time, Stalingrad had quite impressive armor. The thickness of her belt was 180 millimeter and her horizontal armor was 145 millimeter thick. She also had perfect torpedo protection. In terms of her armor, the ship could be considered the best among the few existing ships of the same type. The construction of Stalingrad was halted after the death of Stalin in 1953. Part of the unfinished cruiser's hull with its armored citadel was used as target practice for new types of armament. It's remarkable that even after numerous hits from cruise missiles, armor-piercing shells, air bombs and torpedoes, the hull still remained afloat, thus confirming the cruiser's highly efficient protection. In World of Warships, heavy cruiser Stalingrad is a special tier 10 ship that's similar to battleships in several of her characteristics. Her powerful long-range artillery with good ballistics can deal impressive damage to enemies from great distances.